In this video, I'm going to take you through the Ronan wallet, and I'm going to show you how to create a new wallet, how to connect to a Trezor hardware wallet, and how to send and receive your tokens. For more information, please check out everybithelps.co.uk. First up though, a little bit about the Ronin wallet before we jump into the walkthrough. The Ronin wallet is a crypto wallet that was developed for Axie Infinity, the blockchain game developed by Sky Mavis, which runs on Ethereum and allows players to breed, collect and trade NFT characters that are known as Axies. The Ronin wallet, which is available as a mobile app or browser extension, runs on the Ronin blockchain that essentially works as a sidechain for the Ethereum network. The Ronin network that was introduced by Sky Mavis developers, helps to make it cheaper to trade and to breed Axies, rather than it running on Ethereum. So the wallet allows you to interact with Axie Infinity and other decentralized apps running on the Ronin blockchain, like the Axie Infinity staking dashboard that I've recently created a tutorial for, where you can currently earn up over 100% APY on your AXS tokens. Plus, you can also use the wallet to send and receive cryptocurrencies and NFTs. And currently, wrapped ETH, USDC, Axie Infinity Shards or AXS, and Smooth Love Potion tokens or SLPs are supported. To use the Ronin wallet, you'll need some Ronin ROIN tokens to pay for the transaction fees, but I'll show you how to get 100 free daily transactions during the walkthrough. So let's jump in and take a look. To get started, you'll need to install the Ronin wallet. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you this on my laptop. Therefore, I'll be installing the browser extension which you can install on the likes of Chrome or Firefox. Today I'm on Chrome, so I'm gonna head across to the Chrome store. To make sure that you're always downloading the correct wallet, it is worth checking out the number of users and the reviews. Once the wallet has installed, you can pin the extension so that it always appears at the top of your browser. And when it's set up and appearing, you can then get started where you're then prompted to either create a new wallet or restore an existing. I'm new, so I'll set one up. And you'll then need to create a password and confirm it. Then create wallet. Now it's worth mentioning that this wallet is non-custodial, which means that you're in complete control of your crypto and no one else has access. So if you lose or forget your password, there's no reset password button to fall back on. It also means that you own what is called your private keys or your recovery phrase which can be used in the event that you need to restore your wallet, maybe because you've lost your laptop or it's broken, for example. So you're then prompted to write down your recovery phrase. And you'll obviously need to keep this somewhere really safe, as anyone that has access to it will have complete control of your crypto. Once that step is complete, your wallet will then be created and available to use. With the Ronan wallet, you can also connect this to a hardware wallet too, which is the Trezor hardware wallet meaning that your tokens never leave the safety of your hardware wallet. If you don't already have a Trezor, then I've got a promotional link in the summary below. Or if you don't want to use a Trezor, that's absolutely fine. You can skip this part using the timeline below. To continue using a Trezor, it'll show you the steps on screens how to connect this. So I'm going to go ahead now and connect this by plugging it into my laptop. And I'll then need to allow, enter my passphrase, and select an account to import from the list and my Trezor is now connected. However, as it stands at the moment, I obviously don't have any Axie in my wallet as I've just created this, but I do have some AXS tokens which are over on exchange, so I'll need to send these across to my wallet. If you've bought your tokens but they're still on the Ethereum network, you'll first need to get them across to the Ronin network, as the Ronin wallet operates on there, plus the fees are a lot cheaper on there too. And there are a couple of different ways that you can do this. You can use their own Ronin bridge, which you can find under the deposit button, which will allow you to transfer from the Ethereum network to the Ronin network. To bridge, you'll need to connect a crypto wallet like Metamask. Then enter the Ronin address, which will be the Ronin wallet address, which can be found at the top of your Ronin wallet. Then the asset that you're transferring and the amount. However, just be aware that you will need to pay ETH for the transaction fees to bridge this across. And at the time of this recording, ETH fees are currently very high. However, if you've bought your Axie tokens on the Binance exchange, you can withdraw these on the Ronin network without having to bridge them across from Ethereum first. 
therefore it'll save you money on those fees. And this is where my excess tokens currently are. So if we head across to Binance now, and under the withdrawal screen from the AXS tokens, if we copy our Ronan wallet address and paste that into the address field here, as you can see, initially there is an error appearing stating that withdrawal address format is wrong. And it then comes up with a tip stating that if you are transferring your asset to the Ronan wallet, you need to replace the prefix from Ronin semicolon to 0x, similar to the beginning of an Ethereum address. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And then I need to select the Ronin network. Now, if this is the first time you're sending a transaction to any new address, I'd recommend sending across a test amount first. And this is just to make sure that you haven't made a mistake, especially where you are having to go through and edit an address like this. And the transaction costs are minimal too, so it won't cost you much to do that. Then I can simply withdraw that to my Ronan wallet. Now, if you don't already have any tokens to transfer across from an exchange or another wallet, you can purchase these directly from within the Ronan wallet. And in this way, your tokens are already on the Ronin network. Simply go to deposit, then continue to purchase. And from here, you can purchase assets with the Ramp network. And you can currently buy Wrapped Ether on Ronin, AXS tokens on Ronin, or Ronin SLP. Then choose the currency you'd like to pay with, and the amount. And as you can see, all the fees are included in the price that you'll see. You'll then need to enter in an email address, agree to the terms and condition, then follow the steps on screen to completion. Now, if you're creating your wallet to pay Axie Infinity, you'll first need to create an Axie Infinity account. By logging on to the Axie Infinity Marketplace and choosing the Ronan Wallet option. You'll need to do this if you've never created an Axie account before. If it's your first time logging in, you'll need to create a name set up an email and password, and then verify. And creating an Axie account also comes with some benefits. If you're using your Ronin wallet and want to send funds or interact with dApps on the Ronin network, you'll need to pay for the transaction fees in RON tokens. And if you've not already created an account, you'll get an error, as you can see on screen, stating that you've used up today's free transactions. However, users of Axie Infinity who create a marketplace account for their wallet can currently get 100 free Ronin transactions per day. So what else can we do with the Ronin wallet? Well, we can send. So if you want to send your tokens across to an exchange or another wallet, you can do so by clicking on to send. Then you'll want to paste in the destination address, i.e. where you want to send it to, and choose the asset that you want to send. Then input the amount and click next. Then you'll then need to confirm your transaction and pay a transaction fee, which is obviously free as we now have our 100 free transactions per day with our Axie account. And you'll find that transactions on the Ronin network are not only free, but they're also very fast. If you want to swap your tokens, there's a swap function within the wallet too, which will redirect you to Katana, which is the decentralized exchange for Ronin. I'll have a separate video available for this, which will show you the swap and adding liquidity in more details. But essentially, from here, you can swap from any Ronin network supported token to another. And again, you'll need to use your free Ronin tokens for your transaction fees to swap and approve. You then have a list of all your activities. And when you click onto these, it will then provide you with the activity details, which you can also view on the Ronin Explorer, which is similar to the likes of Etherscan. If we take a look at our account next, which is the icon in the top right of your wallet, and yours might look slightly different to mine, as at the moment I'm connected to my Trezor, therefore the icon is different to if I was connected to account one, for example, as you can see here. So from here, you can obviously switch between the different accounts. You can create another new account, connect up your hardware wallet as we did earlier, or you can go into your settings or lock your wallet. If we just go into our settings here, we can change our default currency we can sync up this wallet with the Ronan mobile wallet, or we can view our secret recovery phrase. But just remember not to do this with anyone else around, as anyone that can see these or have access to these will have complete control of your crypto. But that completes how you can use the Ronan wallet. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. 
And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.